I have the Logitech G29 steering wheel. Now, it is a bit overkill for this particular game, and any controller will work. I, uh, it works really well with American Truck Simulator, or uh, European Truck Simulator 2. So, uh, maybe not everybody knows this, but some people have actually bought this steering wheel um, for, for just my game. All right, and that's fine. Again, it's just uh, there was this other one that I cannot think of right now, PX9900 or something, and I played with that quite well, and I and I really loved it. Uh, I just tore it apart and I broke it, and instead of getting another one, I just went ahead and got an upgrade. So in my game, you actually can choose your uh, your controllers. All right, now and but it's very important that you you have the controller already plugged in, all right, powered on and all that. Otherwise, it won't register. All right. Now, game, my game isn't perfect, all right? Well, so keep clicking until you find this. Now, eh, it doesn't look pretty, but whatever, all right? It's there, <laughs> all right? It's just, it's just kind of crappy that the name is really, really, really long. Now, but it won't let it won't let you uh, play until you configure the actual buttons itself. And this, I found, can be a bit temperamental with this particular steering wheel, all right? So when we, when we do, all right, now, it's basically saying which button do you want to use to go left. All right, well, we want to go this way to the left. Okay, and stop. And then we can go bring it back. And then immediately it's gonna it's gonna have us go to the right because it's highlighted in green. Okay, okay, we're gonna go off to the right. Okay, that's fine. That part doesn't seem to be a problem. It's the pedals. I found it very hard to get the pedals to work perfectly. So uh, when you do choose for forward, all right, go all the way down to the bottom. Uh, see, if you, I wouldn't say go all the way down to the bottom. I went down all the way down to the bottom and it messed up. Okay, so it's basically choosing forward and reverse for the same one. Okay, so basically if you want to go forward and if you want to go reverse, so that's not going to work. Now, is it? All right, so we got to do it again. So let's try again. So we go, first of all, there we go. Let's go off to the left. Go off to the right. Okay, now we're going to push it down until, until it actually goes on to the reverse. And keep pressing it down. There we go. Now I'm going to push the reverse. So now we have left stick and we have right stick. Basically, this is the left stick and this is the right stick. Uh, and that's basically all you have to do. All right. Now I would suggest too. You have to. I believe you have to. But you got to. You got to download the uh, uh, the Logitech G Hub. All right. You click on it. This is important. All right. Now. I find over here on the, you have all the controls, the sensitivity. I'm not too sure how much the sensitivity actually works too well with the, uh, with the, uh, yeah. So basically it's small, so it, it attracts small little movements. So if I had the sensitivity turned all the way down, it's not really, it's not really, yeah, there, there we go. It's, it's kind of reacting kind of slowly. So you want to have the sensitive sensitivity up full. Uh, range itself, now you can, you can make life easier on yourself and turn that down all the way down to like 360. All right. That may that means that if you only if you only go this much, all right. If you only go uh, a half rotation, it's basically making you turn all the way to the left. I find that actually very makes the game a lot easier. Not realistic, but very easy. All right. And the whole centering strength that means uh, uh, how hard do you want the steering wheel to turn when when it goes when it goes back to the center? Will it shoot back? All right. Oh, see, it's, this is very hard to. I find this very. It's, it's like backing up without any power steering whatsoever, all right? But uh, again, if you're playing American Truck Simulator, you won't get that option. Or maybe you do have it in the game, I don't know. But anyway, so I kind of like it. I'd like it if it re re just returned nicely, but it's just too, it takes a lot, it takes a lot. Now, I keep mine personally, uh, well, the, the, the operation range, when, all right? I keep it to 720. Basically, that means that's two rotations. Basically, you have one rotation, all right, is all the way to the left. And one rotation all the way to the right, it's all the way to the right. Okay, but anyway, that's if you're having trouble with the steering wheel, uh, that's that's how you fix it. Again, you can use a handheld controller. I find playing with, playing with a controller uh, works fantastically. All right, it's just you don't get the fine tuning. You get so you can you, you can go to the left. You know you can go to the right. You know it's just it's just not as fine tuned as a steering wheel. Okay. So anyway, again, my settings that I prefer, I will have the uh, center strength at roughly around 20. All right, that allows it to actually return to the steering wheel. It's gonna return very slowly, so you may need to aid it. I don't know, I just don't want to, I don't, I don't wanna have too much pressure on it. I don't wanna, I, I wanna kinda like have, 
where it's just a little, so it's a lot lighter. But again, play around with it. Again, you have to. So I recommend maybe it's maybe it's mandatory. I believe it might be mandatory. Getting the Logitech G Hub. All right. Um, yeah. Cool. Anyway, that's it. I'm sorry this video was so long and boring, but that's how you do it with the game. Anyway, bye bye.